Today I have a question from a player who's struggling to get more involved in the play. Apparently his teammates aren't passing him the ball and it's not his fault. So this is what he said. He said, hey Dylan, thank you for your videos. They've helped me a lot, but I have a big problem that is not my fault. My teammates won't pass me the ball. It's like they don't trust me. What can I do to make them pass me the ball? Well, first of all, if you out there are struggling with this problem and this player right here, you need to take responsibility. I don't like when someone says it's not my fault. Even if it isn't your fault, blaming other people and not taking responsibility isn't going to solve the problem. So instead of saying it's not my fault, they won't give me the ball or the coach won't give me the opportunity or no one gives me a chance, take responsibility on yourself. So what if they're not helping you? What can you do to solve that problem? And I promise if you follow the advice I'm about to give you and you start by taking responsibility, you will get more involved in the play and your teammates will pass you the ball more often. So he's saying here, they don't trust me. It's like they don't trust me. Well, the truth is they probably do not trust you for good reason. Maybe you're giving away the ball too often. I'll tell you personally, when I'm playing with players and I know, you just know in their mind, if you give them the ball, they're probably gonna lose it. You probably don't give the ball to them as much as you should. Instead of giving them the pass, when they're wide open, you turn and go the other way and try to give it to someone else that you trust. So in order for them to trust you, you have to earn their trust. How do you do that? You earn their trust by making good decisions and taking care of the ball. So if right now you're making too many mistakes, you need to correct that. And I recently released a video which was called How to Play Soccer with Fewer Mistakes. So if you haven't seen that one, definitely go check that out. I'll put a link right here. I'll also put a link in the description of the video. If you're watching this on your cell phone and you can't click this link right here. And that's a great video. It'll teach you how to play with fewer mistakes. But basically some of the main ideas in there were just simplify, simplify your play. Nobody likes to pass to a player who turns and tries to dribble three guys every time and loses it every time. So if you wanna make fewer mistakes, start by simplifying your play. And you wanna earn the trust of your teammates, simplify your play. Just have a good touch, pass it to someone else and move to get it back. Keep it really simple. If you can get in the habit of in the beginning, maybe you're not going forward, maybe you're not always creating chances, scoring goals or doing incredible things on the ball, but you never give the ball away, you will slowly start to earn the trust of your teammates. And if you really wanna earn their trust, get the ball, give it back to them right away. They would love to pass to someone who's gonna play a little one-two or a wall pass or make a quick turn and then give it to someone else. Okay, if you wanna earn the trust of your teammates, it's about taking care of the ball. If they know every time they give you the ball, you're going to at least keep possession. Maybe you don't do something productive with it, but you keep possession of the ball. And in reality, that is still productive you keep possession of the ball, you don't give it away, you will slowly earn their trust. So that's where you need to start. The other reason they're probably not giving you the ball is because you're not demanding the ball, okay? Being open and expecting people to pass you the ball isn't always gonna get you the ball. You need to actually demand it. And notice how I'm not saying ask for the ball, call for the ball, I'm saying demand the ball. Demand the ball with your movement but demand the ball with your voice, with your words. Okay, so first let's talk about your movement. If I want the ball, I can't just stand there and expect to get it. I need to be active with my movement. I need to be running into space. If I don't get it here, I'm not just gonna stop. I'm gonna run over here and try to get it there. If I make a run and I don't get the pass, I'm not just gonna stop making runs for the rest of the game. Okay, so you need to be constantly active with your movement. If you're always making the right run and they're not giving you the ball, the coach is gonna get upset with them. Okay, so keep making the right runs. Make them, force them to give you the ball because of your good movement. And in the beginning, you may never get the ball, but you need to develop that good habit of constantly moving, showing for the ball. Next, you need to actually demand the ball with your voice. And sometimes it's just saying, hey, hey, yes, I'm open. It's just yelling for the ball, okay? Yes, you can call their name. For some reason, when I'm in the heat of the moment, it's more like, yes, hey, I'm not really calling people's names. I'm just letting them know with my voice that I'm open because sometimes their head is down. Sometimes they're focused over here. They don't know what's over there. They need to hear your voice. 
So yes, it's better to call someone's name, be more descriptive with your communication, but sometimes you're in the heat of the moment and all you can get out of your mouth is, yes, yes, give it to me. So demandable with your movement, demandable with your energy, as you can see by the way I'm talking, demandable with your voice. If you do that, you will get the ball more often. Now, when you do get the ball, remember, take care of that ball. Start building your confidence with those simple plays, and then you can start taking players on, you can make more productive or forward passes, you can try more things. But you need to develop and earn their trust by taking care of the ball. Finally, I wanna say here, if you're not getting the ball, it's not your teammate's fault. Okay, yes, maybe sometimes they should give you the ball, and they don't. But if you just sit there and blame them, you're never gonna get involved in the play. If someone isn't, or my teammates, or I'm playing with new players and they're not passing me the ball, guess what? I'm not just gonna sit there. I'm gonna go and get that ball. I'm gonna hunt that ball down. I'm gonna tackle players. I'm going to press. I'm gonna find ways to get the ball myself. And then when I do get the ball, I'm going to make smart plays, okay? Now that I've won the ball, I'm not just gonna be a ball hog and not pass it to anybody. I'm gonna be smart with the play, with smart with the ball. I'm going to make those simple passes, bring my teammates into the play, force them to say, hey, this guy's playing the right way. I have to play like him, okay? So you're, you're trying to influence people with your energy, with your movement, with your voice, and the way you play the game. If you're playing like a ball hog and you never pass, because your teammates don't pass you the ball, well guess what, the next time they get the ball, they're not gonna pass to you either. So it works both ways. So if you wanna get the ball, you wanna get more passes played to you, well you have to play more passes to them. So think about these ideas, and like I said, the final point there is the most important. If you're not getting the ball, do something about it. Go and hunt for that ball, be more active with your movement. You can't always rely on getting passes to be in possession of the ball. You have to go hunting and work on the defensive side of the game. And I promise if you do that, you will become more involved instantly. So that's all I have written here. And I hope that answers your question. If your teammates aren't passing the ball, it's not their fault necessarily. Take responsibility and ask, what can you do? Be more active with your movement. Be more active with your voice. Demand the ball. Keep making those good runs. When you do have the ball, you need to earn their trust by taking good care of it. And definitely watch that video on how to play with fewer mistakes because that will help you earn their trust. You become a more solid player, someone who is more reliable on the ball. And if you can build those good habits, then yes, people will want to pass you the ball. And like I said, it works both ways. If you get the ball and you're a ball hog and you try to dribble three guys and you lose every time, no one's gonna wanna pass you the ball. But if you get it, you give it, you move, you get it, you give it, you keep that good flowing passing football going, then everyone's gonna wanna keep you involved in the play, they're gonna trust you, and they're gonna wanna give you the ball. Also, when you get the ball, if you start doing good things, like making good passes, creating chances, scoring goals, eventually you're gonna earn that trust, and everyone's gonna love to give you the ball. As soon as they get the ball, they're gonna be looking for you. How can I get him the ball right away? But that takes time to build confidence and trust in your teammates. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it valuable. If you did, please like, give me a thumbs up, please comment below, and please share this video with your friends and teammates. I will talk to you tomorrow.